Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. Another episode going into news and prophecy, linking the things happening worldwide to the Holy Scriptures, all right, via biblical prophecy. To show the elect remnant that the words of Yahweh Bahashem Yahusha are faithful and true. All right. Also, condemnation to the elite rulers of this world, starting with the biblical Edomites, who are um, trying to establish a new world order. All right. Um, contrary. All right to the kingdom that our power Yahweh through Yahweh Shai is going to set up. All right. Um, which ultimately is the throne of David, a righteous government. All right. Um, so we're here to condemn and chant down the heathen. All right. Also, um, two thirds of our own people. All right. Who continuously rebel against the most high and his only begotten son and the prophets he sent. All right. Through their ignorance. Now, um, as you can see here, all right. Biblical prophecy is moving forward. All right. And the things that were foretold by the prophets. OK. In the Holy Scriptures and the prophets that have been sent in these latter days in Babylon, the great as where well as scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. All of the things. That were foretold are coming to pass. OK. As a matter of fact. We have uh, the book. Of Revelation 22 and 6. <clears throat> it says, and he said unto me, these sayings are faithful and true. Everything that has been written, okay, is faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. All right. And there's many things written in the book of Revelation, all right, and there's many things written in the prophets before, okay, that are to come to pass in the latter days. Let's get the book of Jeremiah 23, and I believe 20, okay, these words are faithful and true, and while everybody's playing games and trying to create their own narratives, the true narrative through the word of Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, spoken by the prophets, it's all coming to pass, all right? And that's where we have comfort and a victory, all right, as everybody else is doing their own thing, okay? The Christian church, damn sure, ain't focusing on prophecies. They're trying to figure out a way for this world to continue and to stop the Israelites, which is biblical prophecy that they would wake up in the latter days. So this is Jeremiah 23 and 20. <clears throat> it says, the anger of the Lord Yahweh shall not return. And you best believe he's angry. Okay? If you look at, you know, uh, major judgments of old, you know, the Lord allowed heathen, all right, Jake to, to get up to a particular uh, uh, point, and then he moved on the people. That's what happened at the time of the flood. That's what happened at the time of the Tower of Babel. Okay, that's what happened at Sodom and Gomorrah. And many, many judgments we know. And can read about in the Holy Scriptures, all right, the Lord sent prophets to warn and gave the people a time to repent, okay, in the form of a grace period, and they didn't hearken, all right, and immediately after the Heavenly Father's uh, word went out, there followed what he said was going to happen, okay, and for years things have been rumors, but we're living in a time where these things are coming to pass rapidly, uproars of the people you know uh the, the 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 weird weather patterns earthquakes perplexity the love of many is waxing cold meaning people are going psycho when you look up that word uh wax cold all right and we're living in the middle of plagues where the, the heavenly father has allowed the left hand all right the biblical edomite his sword okay to let loose in preparation all right, to go all out to establish his wicked counsel. 
So Jeremiah 23 and 20, the anger of Yahweh shall not return until he have executed, until he have performed the thoughts of his mind. In the latter days, ye shall consider it perfectly. So if you're looking with a spiritual eye, you should be considering perfectly, okay, the things that have happened. Now, I wanted to touch on this um, first. Um, as you can see, the super rich preppers, okay, planning to save themselves from the apocalypse. Okay, and how are they going to do that? By going into these luxurious bunkers, all right? Tech billionaires are buying up luxurious bunkers, okay? And in these bunkers, I mean, they have, all right, 40 to 50 years worth of food, okay? Remember, the, 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 this is biblical prophecy coming to pass, as we'll show you. So the Heavenly Father, all right, wants the elite to survive the destruction so that when New Jerusalem comes down, okay, we can put them in captivity, all right, which frightens these Edomites when they hear it. Okay, and we hope Vocab Malone could get into one of those bunkers, but he most likely won't make it out of Babylon the Great. OK, but that would be nice for him to be in one of those bunkers because he needs to be met. All right. With us in our spiritual bodies. All right. Tech billionaires are buying up luxurious bunkers and hiring military security to survive a societal collapse they helped create. But like everything they do, it has unintended consequences. OK, so if you look at what's happening in the, in the earth. OK, the resources are being sucked dry by the elite. It's not that it's not enough resources, but they're setting up a system. All right. It's ultimately everything is being mismanaged and they're setting up a worldwide famine. OK, because the, the, the foods that are on the shelves. OK, um, at some point will run out. OK, the companies that are shipping out things. OK, as we saw, they they they, they uh, put a dent in that plan to where things weren't moving. OK, to to get to the shells, all of those ships sitting on the seas. OK, well, eventually these things are going to meet the people face to face and they're witnessing a lot of that. In Europe right now, we'll get to that. But this is a societal collapse that they have created and planned because they can't set up their NWO, all right, without collapsing the old, all right, which in the old, pretty much, which was still with the, you know, the very end of it, you were able to, you know, go and freely buy, you know, using, you know, paper money, you know, credit cards and various things like that, okay? Well, if you look at what's happening around the world, economies are being collapsed systematically OK, so that when it's all said and done, they can offer a solution. OK, but as all of this hell is taking place on the earth, the scriptures talk about how the elite. OK, when that destruction comes, will be hidden in the bunkers. OK, uh, 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 you know, away from the common people. OK, the elect are going to be delivered. OK, Babylon is going to be destroyed. The elite will flee into the bunkers and the rest of the people around about the earth, you know, they will suffer whatever fate the Heavenly Father has for them. OK, it's going to be a hard time as we're entering into the straight gate. OK, the scriptures say enter ye at the straight gate. Straight means a position of difficulty. All right. Meaning the things that are getting ready to take place on the earth are going to be trying to the flesh. That's why it's likened to the hour of temptation. However, we don't have to read this article. I have this video uploaded by uh, the uh, beloved brother Karataza, GMS Vegas, sit downs, 144K, subscribe and be edified. We'll play his video. Hilarious. The super rich elite still planning their escape from judgment. And again, this is biblical prophecy. OK, as a matter of fact, let's just read it. Here in Revelation, the sixth chapter, okay, in the 14th verse, it says, And the heaven departed as a scroll. All right, now when you read this whole chapter, okay, it's giving you particular uh, points in, uh, 
in the history leading up to now, all right, that are, you know, going to lead to what? Famine, shortages, okay, death, okay, and many more things. War, all right? But when you read up at verse 4, it says, There went out another horse that was red, and power was given unto him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. Okay, that, that power, okay, that was given, was given unto Esau Edom, okay, who's read all, who, who the scriptures describe him as red, okay, and the Rothschilds, okay, uh, who uh, changed their name from uh, Bauer, which means scoundrel, that means red shield, you see, and they're one of the major elite families who are responsible for this mess and who have control. So power was given unto him to take peace from the earth, using Babylon the Great as the hammer, NATO, all right? They've systematically went through all the four corners of the earth destroying, and they've pushed a wicked vibration through getting control of the music, getting control of the food, entertainment, turning people into wild beasts. Everybody's after each other's neck, and he has that great sword, all right? So it goes on to talk about, you know, how, you know, he would pretty much have, there would be food shortages. You would only be able to get a particular amount of food for a particular amount of, of money. Inflation, all of that is talked about in this chapter. We have lessons on it. Okay, I may just repost the lesson I did on it. Um, and then paleness. You know, a, a hard time on the planet Earth. Okay. So when it's all said and done. Okay. War is coming. Okay. Destruction is coming. Revelation 6 and 14. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. Now, this is synonymous with the destruction described in Isaiah the 34th chapter, which what links it to Idumia, the Edomites. Okay. And what's going to happen then? And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bondman, because they're going to have their slaves down there and every free man. All right. Put, uh, hid themselves in the dens in the rocks of the mountains. Let's look up this word, dens. And they're preparing it, all right? They're doing exactly what we, through the Holy Spirit, all right, which was passed down to us through our forefathers, in particular right here, John the Revelator, Yahweh Shai's favorite disciple, was passed down, Okay, uh, and, and, and it's all coming to pass. Okay, spe la yon. Okay, a cave, a den. Okay, let's look up this word den. I mean, it is what it says it is, self-explanatory. But um, if you look at these words under here, it says a hiding place, a resort. So the Bible, a cavern. A cave, a den, uh, the Bible explicitly explains everything that we see happening before us to a T. Okay. So the rich elite are preparing to escape. All right. The, 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 the craziness that's getting ready to come to the planet Earth. All right. It says a small, comfortable room in a house where a person can pursue an activity. There you go. So they've created dens in the earth via these bunkers, okay? So let's go back and we'll, we'll, we'll pull it up, the video in just a minute. Hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains so that it can withstand the destruction that's coming and said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the raft of the Lamb. See, because right now they're talking all of this proud talk, you know, uh, you know, we don't care how angry we make the most high. If he brings a plague, we'll be able to, you know, counter it with our technology. 
Okay, well, when that destruction comes, they're going to be scared shitless, man. And said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb. For great is the day of his wrath. Okay, it's come and who shall be able to stand? Okay, so let's go here real quick. Proverbs 11 and 4, riches profit not in a day of wrath. See, through these, you know, the, through your riches and your traffic, you've been able to, you know, build yourselves up, you know, to this point. You've been untouchable. You've been able to pass unrighteous decrees. You've been able to do wickedness and then stay out of the, the limelight. But there's going to come a day where judgment is going to meet you elite face to face. the guardian and the the super rich protecting themselves from armageddon yeah um, <laughs> it, 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 it's sort of all it's all sounding so bonkersly futuristic and yet it's here isn't it the future's here uh we've been waiting for this f for a long time and it's it's happening but the but billionaires are able to l literally construct kind of super bunkers to protect themselves and their loved ones from what they call the event uh, the event could be various different things. Could be, you know, climate collapse. Could be nuclear. Could be all sorts of awful things that are on the horizon. And what it's going to be is destruction. Okay, Babylon, a great, is going to be destroyed as the beast hates the whore. Which there's things happening right now in the planet Earth leading to that. Okay, uh, one is um this situation here with this pipeline let's go there real quick okay it says the main gas pipeline to eu will be closed until sanctions are lifted okay and the sanctions are coming from the west all right nord stream one operations will be hampered as long as western restrictions remain in place okay so eventually all right and what you'll find out is that these uh these sanctions are putting hell on these European countries. Okay? The 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 uh, UK, France, Germany. Okay? The, the 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 gas prices are high as hell and who's it affecting? The people. All right? But they're hiding it under the guise of we're doing this because of what Putin is doing with Ukraine. As if Ukraine is innocent and as if there wasn't sanctions and, and, and particular agreements set in place that all right the eu would not all right pursue that territory anyway what you see happening now which we'll get into uh, a, a few things going on over there in europe okay is gas prices all right are sky high okay to the point where the particular businesses like pubs, all right, uh, 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 stores, grocery stores or whatever are having to shut down, turn their lights out because guess what? They don't have enough money to pay the high prices. Okay, look, look at this. How in the name of God shocked Europeans post astronomical energy bills as terrifying winter approaches. And when it gets cold, all right, and they, they're telling you we have to do climate shutdowns, all right, and that you can't use your heat, all right, people are going to lose their damn minds. And people are already protesting. People are, 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 are standing up and saying we ain't paying these high-ass bills. But what is that going to do? Eventually, that's going to lead to an evil eye towards Babylon the Great, and eventually the beast is going to hate the whore. Okay, and, and, and soon after that, the elite are going to find out they're not in control. You see? The Heavenly Father has them to think that they're the ones doing this and that, but ultimately they're getting ready to find out that they're not in control and that they're not God. Okay, but as you can see, several of the posts were from small businesses. All right, let's read this. Over the past week, shock Europeans, mostly in the UK and Ireland, have been posting viral photos of shockingly high energy bills amid the ongoing worsening energy crisis. Would you best believe it? 
These things are coming to America. As they say, 2023 is going to be a year of hell. When they start to do these climate shutdowns, when your energy bills get higher and higher and higher, all right, because of particular things put in place by the elite, all right, through your, your president and your government, okay, people are going to lose it. Right now, people are still in a delusion. People can still go to the market and do this and do that. People can still buy as many uh, bags of chips as they want. You'll soon find out who the devil is, and we've been warning you all, okay? So people are losing their minds, and if you're looking at your energy bill here in Babylon, you're starting to see things are getting higher. The food is getting higher, okay? And there's enough product, all right, to where shelves are still, you know, being filled, but that won't be renewed. There's going to be a cap, all right? <laughs> and you'll see, all right, that, that, that you know, because a lot of people think, oh, y'all prophesying, y'all saying it's going to be shortages. This. And when I go to the store, I, I, I see abundance, eating grapes with no seeds, talking shit, but you, 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 you just keep living. Okay? Look at this. Several of the posts were from small business owners, all right, who are getting absolutely crushed right now. Now, why are they doing this? Because they want these small businesses out of there. They want the middleman gone. Okay? They're destroying the middle class. That's what's happening through the uh, uh, spirit, which that happened in ancient Rome. Okay? They're destroying the middle class. They're destroying the middle man. They're destroying farmers. They're destroying people with businesses so that no one will have anywhere else to go but them. Okay, and there's many uproars and protests behind this, but we'll get back to this in just a minute. But this is one of many things that's going to lead to what? World War Three, the third woe. Okay, woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. Okay, the third woe cometh quickly. Let's get that real quick. So that's really what's going to send these elites into the bunkers. But before that, People are going to be after them, okay? People are going to be after them, man. The scriptures say they're not going to regard their kings or princes, man. And they're going to be storming, all right, particular places where they supposedly live, you know. It's going to be crazy, and that's already happening, okay? In, 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 in Sweden, or maybe Switzerland, I forget, I forget where it is, um... Which that could be the uh, same place, but my uh, I'm having a you know brain fog right now. But uh, they had pictures of the elite, all right. And then what did it say on it? Wanted, all right. The Edomites, the elite, are not able to hide themselves anymore. The man of sin has been refilled. This is Revelation 11 and 14. The second woe is passed, all right. World War Two, and the third woe cometh quickly, all right. Which is what. As we just read in Revelation, the sixth chapter is going to be accompanied with a great destruction. The heaven departing as a scroll, the earth reeling to and fro. Now, let's get Isaiah 34 and see what this very prophecy is synonymous with. The end of Esau's world. Right. So these elites are already preparing because we're, we're very close to the end of this thing. How do we know? First of all, the elect are being sealed every day. More and more people are coming into the true understanding that they're Israelites and getting down with the right doctrine. Okay? Isaiah 34 and 4, And a host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, that mushroom cloud, and all their hosts shall fall down as a leaf falleth from off the vine, as the falling of a fig from a fig tree. Okay? And that's how the elite are going to fall. Satan is going to fall fast okay for my word shall be bathed in heaven it shall be bathed is behold it shall come down upon idumia and upon the people of my curse to judgment so this very judgment and i guarantee you the precept links okay this very judgment okay isaiah 13 the, the destruction of babylon the great okay if it links us to Revelation 6. Boom. There we go. 
<laughs> Woo. There you go. Okay, this is this this very prophecy we're reading here is synonymous with the end of Esau's world. So the heaven departing as a scroll, the mushroom cloud, is the destruction that's gonna come in the form of Babylon a great being destroyed. Okay? Let's get Isaiah 24 real quick and then we'll get that video. Okay, judgment on the earth because of the 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 the, the leadership has defiled the, uh, the the earth has been defiled under the leadership. Okay, the earth is also defiled, Isaiah 24 and 5, under the inhabitants thereof, starting with the rulers, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. Now they want to establish a new way, all right, to where humans will be linked with artificial intelligence and all of that garbage. But when you read down, a judgment comes from that. First of all, it's going gonna, it's gonna to start with bad times on the earth, people catching hell, Okay, uh, the, 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 the mirth ceasing. We just had Labor Day, and it was, I mean, you, the feel of it was dead. Okay, people uh, not drinking wine with a song. People are not having fun. People are catching hell. All right, in many places in the earth, people aren't able to pay their bills. They're getting evicted. There's a mass eviction going on. So the city of confusion is being broken down. The beast system is being broken down. There is a crime for wine in the streets. All the joy is dark and the mirth of the land is gone. And that's going to lead to what? Let's jump to it. Let's jump to it. Let's just jump to the point. Let's say, uh, verse 18. And it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in a snare. For the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth do shake. The earth is utterly broken down, and the earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. This is destruction, that third woe. Okay? The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again, meaning the rulership is going to fall and not rise again. This is the end of you Edomites' terror. Okay? It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that Yahweh shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high, and the kings of the earth upon the earth. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in, in the pit, and they shall be shut up in the prison, and after many days they shall be visited. Okay, so how are the elite going to survive this destruction? Well, and these billionaires are hoping that they can sort of save themselves. Um, but, and also they're going to have they're going to have trained Navy SEALs, sort of teams of ex Navy SEALs to protect them. Um, but it isn't clear how you get sort of allegiance from uh, sort of your little private army when everything's gone down. Because yeah. what, for what reason would they stand outside your bunker uh, unless oh, they're actually suggesting that they'll have some sort of behavioral colors, I think I read in here, uh, some really bonkers stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> How do you get allegiance from a, a, a seal? I mean, maybe a bucket of fish, I don't know. <laughs> well, that might do it. I mean, what would be in your bunker? Because I'd have to have tea bags, uh, yes. a good pillow. I, I go for a memory foam pillow because I'll be down there for a while. These people are absolutely finished. They're ugly. They're played out. The water Yahawabashim Yahashai for the end of the Edomite. Goodness gracious, I'm tired of looking at these bastards. Oh. <laughs> Netflix, obviously. GB News. <laughs> Clearly, I mean, uh, the, I mean, the idea is um, that we don't get to the bunker stage. This is what this article is kind of putting forward. He's saying that... And the, these people, they, they ain't gonna let y'all in. <laughs> y'all gonna be through. The, the worry about these people is that they tend to be these uh, elite millionaires. Like, they tend to be sort of uh, Bitcoin... Millionaires? They're lightweights. It's billionaires. Yeah, sorry. About. Trillionaires. Yeah, they're, they're the proper, like... Um... Again, it's going to be the kings of the earth upon the earth. Okay? 
the 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 the, the, the rich men of the earth. See? And of course, they're going to have their common people with them because you think they plan on doing work? No. Okay? The, the In that day, the Lord will punish the gods in the heavens and the proud rulers, all right, of the nations of the earth. And they're the gods of this world. Okay? And they got everybody under a delusion. But again, <clears throat> Revelation 6 See, when this destruction comes, the kings of the earth, let's read this in the NLT, that NLT spirit out there. <laughs> then everyone, the kings of the earth, the rulers, the generals, the wealthy, the powerful, <laughs> and every slave and free person all hid themselves in the caves among the rocks and the mountains. And we, we, we just looked up that word cave. So, I mean, everything is right on time. In, like the super beyond bonkers elite wealthy like buying an island just for fun um and the problem is is that they enter a certain mindset where they're always trying to get away from the rest of us mm. and, and they've got this whole kind of this is what the um they sort of welcome the apocalypse they do and that's the problem they get rid of the ant people us. we're the ant people uh, yeah, yeah. and they're able Not the end game don't get rid of adamant no no not adamant a lot, of, a lot of hits in the 80s <laughs> But we're but we're part of the um, we're part of the so long losers that they want to kind of get away from. And the problem is, is that sometimes like if they are these Bitcoin trillionaires, um, because they're mining their Bitcoin and they're burning up all this energy, for example, and they are pushing because Bitcoin is so bad for the environment. Mm. And they're trying to destabilize countries like El Salvador by making it their currency. They're actually pushing us all towards this mm -hmm. apocalyptic thing where they've already got their bunker because they want to get to that end game to prove that they've yes, kind of like won. you like to think that no, nothing's so apocalyptic. Yeah, they think they're God. They got you in this rat race. They got you in this economic collapse. They're going to have you begging, crying, fighting one another, invading one another's houses. But they just get to escape. Nah. Nah. It ain't that easy. You'll be down there, all right? But again, uh, uh, the scriptures describes a point where we show up. Let's get Jeremiah 16. We just read it in Isaiah 24. And see, the thing is, all of these prophecies we're reading are going to come to pass. So, yeah, you're able to wiggle around and play and joke and call us crazy and racist and hateful and this and that and, you know, pop up at camps saying we're hateful and, you know, try to use all of these scriptures to try to undermine what we're saying. But the bottom line is it will eventually meet you face to face. All of you devils and the naysayers of our people who are with you. And then what are they going to do? Because the scriptures describes a day. Let's get that. The day of doom, right? And that's what we're waiting on. This is Second Ezra 7. <clears throat> this is uh second edge of seven and 43 but the day of doom <laughs> shall be the end of this time the end of esau's world okay amalek was the first of the nations the first world rulership would be through the edomites okay and the amalekites will be at the head of it the small hats but the day of doom is what's going to take them out. See, and that's going to come ultimately in a fulfillment of prophecy. All right. Which Yahweh Shai will return. OK. Just as he was sent to deliver us out of the first Egypt, he's going to deliver us out of this new Egypt. But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come wherein corruption is past. And this is a corrupt society, a corrupt rulership. And temperance is at an end. All right. Infidelity is cut off. Let's look up these words. Okay. Intemperance. Intemperance is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Righteousness is grown. And truth is sprung up. And see, that's what's happening. 
And no matter what you devils come with, we're, the, 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 the truth is being made manifest. Intemperance is a lack of moderation or restraint. Okay? Aggressive indulgence, especially in alcohol. And see, the, 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 the people of this earth, especially here in Babylon, are used to overindulgence. Okay? Overconsumption. Just living on a high horse. The, the, the wealthy nation that dwelleth without care. Okay? Infidelity is cut off. Let's see what this means. <clears throat> no temperance. <laughs> and infidelity means the action or state of being unfaithful to a spouse or sexual partner. All of this BS, this wicked, demonic vibration that's in the earth is getting ready to be taken out. Unfaithfulness, adultery, unchastity. There's nothing uh, innocent anymore as this NWO is being established. And they, they told you in a book called the uh, NWO that it would be predicated upon sin, destroying families, polluting marriages. And that's in the book of Wisdom of Solomon, the 14th chapter. So this is spot on. This is an evil time we live in. One second here. Okay. Woo, that's heavy. <laughs> right. And see, wickedness is the out thing. Righteousness is the end thing, man. And temperance is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Watching all, because we're tired of seeing you people, man. As a matter of fact, So there's a psalm that ex it, it describes how we feel. Psalms 123 and 3. Have mercy upon us, O Yahweh. Have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scorning of those that are at ease, eating, drinking, being merry. Okay? Marrying and giving into marriage. Okay, the, the pedophilia is just being uh, uh, thrown out there, all right, uh, like 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 it's drinking water. It's just nothing. Our soul is exceedingly filled with the scoring of those that are at ease and with the contempt of the proud. All right, the NLT. We go call it the New Love Translation. OK. We have we have had more than our fill of the scoffing of the proud and the contempt of the arrogant. So the Lord is getting ready to what? Put intemperance at an end via the climate shutdowns. All right. Via putting a cap on what you can and can't ha uh, uh, eat, how much you can eat. See, he for to sit you people down. All right. Righteousness has grown up and, and truth has sprung up. Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that have gotten the victory. And everybody's trying to save Esau, all right, and put us out there in a negative light as if we're the crazy ones. See that? So you're not going to be able to save him that is destroyed, nor oppress him that has gotten the victory. Jeremiah 16. Me, Jeremiah 16, 16. Oh man, y'all are done. <laughs> Jeremiah 60 to 60. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith Yahweh, and they shall fish them. And we are fishers of men right now. Okay, but we know once the elect, the sealed destruction comes. And after, I will send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and from out of the holes of the rocks. Okay, we go get uh, the uh, the... The rebels, the two-thirds, finish them off, and we're going to get you heathen, you elites, are going to be the first fruits of slavery in the kingdom of heaven. This is why you're getting these bunkers ready for prophecy to be fulfilled. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Shai. It will be caused by people unwittingly, uh, or wittingly, I should say, because they're in it just like us. But 
as soon as they can remove themselves from the fear of it, yeah. they can continue to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that sort of seems to be where we're... And then they don't have to worry about climate change or war. Yeah. Not anything. They might welcome it. it. Exactly. As a matter of fact, that is described in the Holy Scriptures. See that? Habakkuk, woo, man, these scriptures are on point. See, this is what's happening. He's getting found out. Habakkuk, I'll just get to the point, but we'll jump up there for the uh, other part with the uh, people rising up. This is Habakkuk 2 and 9. Woe to him that covet an evil covetous to his house, covetousness to his house. And he wants the whole world. He wants your soul. He wants you linked with AI. He wants everything. He wants control over, you know, the, 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 the sex and who, you know, spirits coming into the earth and out of the earth. Control over what people can say. That he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. And a nest is like a place of safety, right? Let's look this here. See what this word for nest is. Yeah, so they plan on letting you all have it, and they're going to send their, their soldiers and troops and robots who are programmed to do things and, and just, 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 just off people, man. Kana. Nest. All right? Sales like nest, like nest in uh, Noah's Ark. And see, that dude... Uh, uh, Swab, his right hand man, that Amalekite, you all, you all, you all, Hari, whatever the hell, we always mess his name up. He's talking about how, when it's all said and done, it's going to be like the new Noah's Ark, and whoever survives, you know, they, they'll be entered into the NWO. Okay, a nest, a room, so they set their nest on high. Let's see. <laughs> that they may be delivered from the power of evil. So they're not going to, you know, go through the, the 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 hardships that they created to make a nest to be nested. To build or occupy a nest. That's these bunkers, too. Okay? That's a part of it. See? Let's read this in the NLT. He knew it was coming, right? What sorrow awaits you who build big houses with money gained dishonestly? You believe your wealth will be your security, putting your family's nest beyond the reach of danger. There you go. And see, when you when we were listening to this video, who did, what did they say? They're going to take them and their families down into these bunkers. Exactly. It supports their master plan. Yeah, you got it. Who knew? Yeah. Right, well, I'll get digging my bunker when I get home. <laughs> Proverbs 19 and 21 in the New Love Translation. <laughs> you can make many plans, but the Lord's purpose will prevail. See that? Woo! <laughs> Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. See what else the brother got. Yep, and he, he brought out the very precept that we uh, uh, went into. So these are the times we're living in. OK, and what's leading up to all of this hell, OK, is um, going to be civil unrest. As we know, according to uh, Second Edges 9, the uproars of the people. OK. Second Edges 9 and 1. And he answered me saying, measure thou the time diligently in itself. Okay, and when thou seest part of the signs which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand the most high spake of those days, all right, those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So we're living in some unprecedented, beautiful times. 
the risk of civil unrest rising globally. You see, countries worldwide are experiencing an unprecedented. And see, over here in Babylon, you don't see it because y'all have a little excess and you're a little comfortable. You just wait. Okay. The rise and potential for civil unrest, according to a fresh study. All right. It says over 100 nations experience an increase in risk of civil unrest. And what is it? A lot of it is predicated upon the people realizing that their government is selling them out. And that they're doing the bidding of the elite. All right. To establish an NWO. OK. The word is that the, the man of sin will be revealed. He can't get around that. That's why the scriptures say. As we always bring out. In the fullness, goodness gracious, I didn't mean to do that. Hold up. There we go. <clears throat> In the fullness of its sufficiency, Job 20 and 22, in the fullness of its sufficiency, he shall be in straits, and every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Okay? Straits means a position of difficulty. Okay? And the the, the wicked here, Imal, means what? Imal means the laborer, wretched one, workman, sufferer. The one who's toiling and have worked and built up your kingdom and societies. Of course, the Israelites are at the forefront of that. But even people of your own kind, they're mad. Okay, the wretched ones, the people who who, who have reaped, I mean, who have uh, worked and, and toiled. Okay, the, 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 the workmen. Okay, they're going to be on your ass. And that's prophecy as well. Let's get that in 2nd Edris, the 15th chapter. In the, the, the 16th verse. Start at 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. In the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And that's already happening in particular parts of the world. Okay. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Okay. Why? Because there's going to be a lack of resources. But destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. And that's being brought on, okay, by your elites, by the, you know, your world rulers, okay? And for great tribulation, okay? Now, where does this say they shall not regard? Yep, 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 we read it. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. They ain't going to be listening to it, and the elite are going to flee. And that's when they're going to find out, damn, we're we not in control. They're going to be in those bunkers scared as hell. Because when the destruction comes, the chariots are going to be up there. So how long once the elect are beamed up until we come down? The Lord is going to give them enough food to survive. Okay. <laughs> enough Netflix, as that dude was talking about, you know, for, for them to survive, man. But what's happening on the planet Earth is civil unrest is being prepared because that's biblical prophecy. Okay, and th they need that. Okay, let's see here. Out of the 198 nations worldwide, only 42 saw the risk of civil unrest increasing in the survey period, while 101 of them saw it increasing. Uh, 42 saw it decreasing. 101 saw it increasing. All right, and things are gonna get better and worse at times, but eventually it's gonna pop. OK. The company linked the rising civil unrest with the impacts of inflation on the prices of staple of food and energy, which food and energy is at the forefront of what the WEF 
have on their radar. Okay? <laughs> it's too much. You know, there's not enough energy to cons- you know, con- conserve all of these people. It says the impact is evident across the globe with popular discontent over rising costs emerging in the streets of developed and emerging markets alike stretching from the EU, Sri Lanka, Peru, Kenya, Ecuador, Iran, it said in the press. Europe stands out in the ranking negatively, having experienced a rise in the risk of civil unrest in part due to the fallout from Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the company said. The situation of on the continent is expected to get worse in the next six months. Okay. Bosnia, all right, Herzegovina, Switzerland, the Netherlands, Germany, and the Ukraine are among the states with the biggest protected increase in risk. See that? (laughs) Now, let's get some uh, videos here real quick. All right. As you can see here, this is off two through an info. Subscribe. Britain starts to turn out the lights, restaurants, pubs, butchers, cafes, and shops are among small businesses forced to close as soaring energy uh, bills begin to bite. Okay, and you see the name of it because this is all BS. This is what they want. Let's let's listen to E because E is exposing a lot on his own elites. I've said it before, folks, and I'm going to say it again. (laughs) This is what they want. They want the small businesses to shut. Yeah, they want to get rid of them. So only the large stores and supermarkets exist. It's centralized. They've got you by the balls. That's it. And with the digital currency and, you know, tracking everybody of where they go, what they buy, what they do, that's it. That's the plan. That's the outcome. That's the agenda of what they want. It may sound like a crazed rant, but if you can't see it yourselves now, then you're either completely fucking asleep or there's just no hope whatsoever. Yeah? So all these restaurants, the butchers, all your little town shops, yeah, the prices of beer, you may have seen that one recently in the news of what's going to go on. But that's what's happening. That's what they want to happen. So prices of electricity go up gas prices, all the rest of it, yeah, completely crash the economy. Come on, you muck. And that's what they're doing. Now, a lot of that is coming from those uh, sanctions that Babylon have on Russia. So, of course, that's going to lead to, what, an evil eye towards the West. And the the, the, the powers that be are going to find out they're not in control. That ain't what I wanted. All right, but that's a that's a good one as well. Why ain't this going up? Give me one second here. <clears throat> and it's all coming out. I loaded this up. This is, uh, I guess, a short documentary where um, let's check this out real quick. But as many are finding out, Edomites, the descendants of Esau, actually made up the Roman Empire. As a matter of fact, the Jewish Encyclopedia also states that the name Edom is used by the Talmudists for the Roman Empire, and they applied to Rome every passage of the Bible referring to Edom or to Esau. Where is Edom today? Esau's land was called Edom. Edom is... We can look at more of that, but we could probably just do a video on that, but... You see the infrastructure of, you know, Petra, where they, you know, Seir, where they, where they, where their land was. It's the same as Rome. It's the same as the American infrastructure buildings and all of that. So they're, they're, they're through. But jumping back into um, the topic at hand, climate lockdowns are coming. Climate lockdowns? Why, you think I'm making that up? Avoiding a climate lockdown by the WBCSD, that rolls up the tongue. That stands for the World Business Council for Sustainable Development. 3M, Apple, Bloomberg, BMW, Chevron, BP, Dow. 
DuPont, Google, IBM, Ikea, Kellogg's, Nestle, Procter & Gamble, it just keeps going. This was published way back in October 2020, so it's not even a new thing. They say, in the near future, the world may need to resort to lockdowns again, this time to tackle a climate emergency. Wait, how could the climate create an emergency that we need a lockdown to solve? Who cares? They say, under a climate lockdown, governments would limit private vehicle use, ban the consumption of red meat, and impose extreme energy-saving measures. Fossil... See that? impose energy measures now what's happening over in the uk as we just read stores stores are closing okay they're, they're having to turn the lights off early okay you're you're not able to use your air conditioner your heater okay because of the prices of the energy but eventually they're going to link this whole climate you know control thing that the wef is on to the whole thing and eventually you'll see these things in america so fuel companies would have to stop drilling to avoid such a scenario we have to overhaul economics and do capitalism differently you see in this article they explain how the three crises the health crisis the economic crisis and the environmental crisis are all interconnected by the anthropocene which they call a disease yes the disease all right, we'll leave that alone. <laughs> and we know that, you know, pretty much all all of what's been happening since 2020 has a lot to do with everything we see happening now. And it's only going to increase. Why? As the Dutch government, a guy called Rutter, the prime minister, completely owned by the World Economic Forum and uh, Klaus Schwab, why has he just announced that the Netherlands, the second biggest exporter of food in the world, is targeting farmers to destroy them and get them off the land, which is where all these farming protests in the Netherlands have come from. At a time of food shortages and supply chain problems, you are targeting the second biggest exporter of food in the bloody world to destroy its farming base, Why are you doing that? If people depend on you for what's left of the food, you control them. Where food is abundant and cheap, you do not control them. What, what did we just read? The days of intemperance are over, baby. What did the, uh, I believe the president of France say? The days of abundance are over. OK. <laughs> Where energy is cheap and abundant, you do not control them. Scarcity equals dependency equals control. And that's why they're targeting the food chain. They're targeting the energy supply. They're targeting everything. Let's get Revelation. Let's get Revelation, the uh, sixth chapter. Give me one second here. Revelation 6. And 5. And when, I, when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, come and see. And I beheld, lo, a black horse. Black is representative of hard times. Okay. Uh, 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 slavery, which we've already underwent a hardcore slavery. But the elite are going to try to bring a, even a, a worldwide slavery. All the people on the planet Earth are going to be uh, 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 through, all right? And the target is going to be the children of Israel, okay? But they have an even deeper enslavement in hand, okay? It says, and he that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand, okay? Meaning he had control over the resources of the Earth, okay? And when you look up this word balances, real quick. is zygos a yoke okay the ability to control people all right a yoke that is put 
on draught cattle, metaphorically used of a burden or bondage. All right, meaning they're going to use the, the resources of the earth, the energy, and this whole climate plan to put your ass in a, in a, in a, in a, in a captivity, man. <laughs> okay. So let's go back. <clears throat> it says, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say a measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny and see that thou hurt not the oil and the wine. The oil and the wine is representative of the elect who have the truth. All right. But they're going to, uh, it's going to be hard times on the planet earth. Now, when you look up this word, a measure of wheat. Okay. Coinix. All right. It says a dry measure, yada, 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 or as much as will support a man of a moderate appetite for a day, meaning there's going to be a cap on what you can uh, uh, buy and eat. And then you got to think they're going to create a system to where they're, 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 there's something you're going to have to have or do in order to be even considered to buy food. OK, so a measure of wheat for a penny. OK, and the, the, this word penny, you think it just means a penny. Well, this goes back to the uh, ancient Roman uh, monetary system, the denarius, which was devalued just as the dollar has been devalued. OK, and um, containing ten. OK. You got a 10 that says uh, it it took its name from being equal to 10 asses. So it's going to take you 10 asses. All right. Or 10 silver coins. And it gives you the measurements and all of that. But that's not my gift. So somebody may know exactly what it would be equal to today. Um. It was the principal coin of the Roman Empire from the parable of the labors in the vineyard. It seemed to be that a denarius then was the ordinary uh, pay of a day's wages. So it's going to take you a day of wages to get a measure of wheat, all right, which is just symbolic of food. You see? So there's going to be a hard time on the earth via a squeeze brought, okay? which is going to be what? Bring death and famine. Okay, as people are going to be squeezed out of the system and separated and all hell is going to break loose. Okay, let's see. Check this out. Pressure is growing, Ali. The food and drink sector has battled through COVID, but recovery is now being hit by the crisis of rising energy bills. Jobs and livelihoods are again at risk as pubs, some of them face a 300% rise in their bills, and many are saying they won't make it through winter if they don't get urgent support from government. Back now to Alex for more. Pubs across the UK might be forced to close this winter due to soaring energy costs. Some owners warn their bills have already quadrupled, while others struggle to find suppliers willing to power their venues when their contracts come up for renewal. This site here in North London, we've gone, our electricity loan has gone from £16,000 a year to £65,000 a year. We signed that deal 10 days ago and already that looks like, frankly, a bargain, which sounds so, uh, you know, it's so ridiculous, frankly, but that's just the situation we're in. We've discussed ideas like closing for winter, if it became unaffor you know, unaffordable to run. Um, here we've just done a, a deal that we, we can just about make work, but these are changing every day, and one site's up for renewal at the end of November. So if that's not something sensible, what are we talking about? Six of the UK's biggest pub and brewing companies have signed an open letter to the government. They urge the authorities to act in order to avoid what they say will cause real and serious irreversible damage to the sector. Businesses, unlike households, operate without a regulated energy price cap, meaning their bills will be pushed even higher in the coming months, possibly by 300%. You know, when these pubs are shut down and when you don't have access to everything you thought you, you know, what you used to, man, people are going to lose their mind. Okay, people are going to fight. People are going to, there's going to be an uproar. <laughs> and they're going to know it's the elites doing this shit on purpose. The government have to react by introducing a price cap on businesses, on business um, energy, 
and they also have to, anyone that's signed up to these deals, which are frankly unsustainable, but you have no choice, need to retrospectively go back and make good. They need to make good so that's secure. Talking about putting that down to 5% is it's a distraction. Winter for the UK looks grim. Inflation is at a 40-year high. Experts say the numbers can break all records come winter. In the next few months, energy will likely get unaffordable for several British households. People will be forced to make the survival choice of having three meals or heating their homes. And if the situation wasn't dire enough, the Resolution Foundation recently projected that the median real household incomes are 40-year high. Experts say the numbers can break all records come winter. In the next few months, energy will likely get unaffordable for several British households. People will be forced to make the survival choice of having three meals or heating their homes. You're going to have to choose between either having meals or heating your home. Okay, and that, 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 that's going to lead to the, what we're seeing here. People aren't going to have pity on their neighbors. Okay, and again, this is coming to Babylon. Okay, your, your, your beloved Joe Biden's working on it. Okay, which we know is the elite. Okay, we know that it's the elite using the, you know, the people who they put in front of you. But, hey, it's all good. We know ultimately we have a, a, a sure word of prophecy, man. So, whew, this went longer than I thought. <laughs> I had so much more. So, again, we'll have to split it and come back with a whole nother one. But, um... Keep your mind on this as well. You know, the shutdown of that Nord Stream pipeline, which is why those energy prices are so high over in these, these regions that we're looking at. Okay, people are catching hell. I work more than 40 hours a week and I'm homeless. So, we'll leave it there. Um. Yeah, we'll leave it there. Let's see here. That's not that. Whew. And um, we'll come back with an, with another news and prophecy. So, and look what's happening in China. Before the lockdowns, people were panicking. Panic buying in Chengdu this week. On September 1st, all 21 million residents in the Chinese city of Chengdu were ordered to stay home from 6, yeah, 6 p.m. onwards as authorities announced a semi-lockdown and mass testing campaigns until September 4th. Over the past seven days, the city reported... Look at that, man. They got a back seat full of meat. You, you, Moab got to go. A total of 606 new positive cases. Almost one-third of all the new reported cases in mainland China this week. Local supermarkets saw a shopping craze, with people stocking up on meat and groceries after rumors of an upcoming lockdown started spreading online like wildfire. Although authorities warned people not to stock up blindly, panic buying was visible across the city, with many images and videos going viral on WeChat showing people stocking up on whatever they could get their hands on. Chinese social media users also shared their worries about the epidemic situation in Chengdu and how long the measures would last. Previously, the lockdown in Shanghai was only supposed to last for five days, but it ended up lasting an entire two months. By the end of the afternoon, the shelves were empty, and by night, the streets were completely quiet in Chengdu. Required of us, Merc! Required of us, Merc! What does Merc mean, Mr. Cocker? Merc to Merc! 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 M I R T H. I really don't Entertainment. know. Entertainment! That's what it's going into. The Bible prophecy. Shalom.